Good morning. Welcome. Uh, I'm going to speak to you a little bit about our Scan Genius program. Um, Scan Genius is an online, uh, well, a handheld ordering system that we use. This talks a little bit about living naturally. Um, we're a technology company dedicated to the natural product industry. We service over 3,000 natural retailers across North America. We've been in the industry for over 10 years now. We have the largest online ordering and website network in the industry. We process about 1.2 billion in online orders. We have 7,500 new products and 20,000 deals that come into our network each month. Um, we have an extensive natural product database, about 1.5 million SKUs and about 20,000 brands. So keeps us quite busy. Uh, we try to make everything as affordable and turnkey as we possibly can um, for the natural independent retailers. This is a little overview of Scan Genius. Basically, it's a fast, um, accurate scanning uh, from all the vendors on one device. Um, complete product information, order, inventory history. We do product alerts so you know when new products are there, any deals, price changes, discontinues. All those notifications will be alerted to you on the handheld. Um, there are three order methods available. You have your min-max your predictive and your manual override. Um, we have the most extensive product database in the industry, about 1.5 million SKUs. Um, you can order at any time uh, through the system and some of the vendors will actually send you an electronic invoice download. Um, we think, I think right now we have about five, um, actually no, there's about probably eight vendors that do that with us that send us that electronic invoice. Um, so basically once you submit your order, um, within probably, I don't know, a day or so of submitting that order, you'll receive an electronic invoice back um, and you'll be able to take that invoice in and download that in either into your POS system or into your ordering system. Um, I, we also have um, online reviews prior to submission so you're able to see all the orders before they get submitted. Um, you can also do uh, perpetual inventory with the scanner. It doesn't hold your inventory, but it's really good for like year-end or if you need to do a, a count of what's in your store, um, it's able to do that. It can't hold the inventory because of course it doesn't see what goes out of the store, but there is a way that you can set it to be able to kind of take a snapshot of what you have at that point in time. Um, it also has a, a shelf tag um, ability in it so you can set the system into um, shelf tag mode and be able to go scan and scan and scan and then once you've done scanning all your um, tags you're able to bring it back to the computer offload it and then print those uh, shelf tags off on your regular printer in the store. It's best if you use an inkjet printer um, the um, bubble jets tend to bleed so you always want to have a, an inkjet printer there or sorry laser printer um, also, you have the affiliate rebates that you get um, by using the scanner as well, so that would tie in with your website. Um, and then you can do searches on different products, the invoices, any new product showcases that are available, any network deals and promotions that are available. So you have all this access uh, when you use our Scan Genius program. Basically, um, how the program works is you'd be able to go in and um, see these 650 plus vendors that we work with, be able to pick and choose which ones you want um, their catalogs for, and then you subscribe to them. And then once you've done that, you can then go ahead and start loading your scanner. So what will happen is, is if you go in and you're picking um, directs and distributors, what the system will ask you to do is it'll ask you um, to actually specify a distributor that you're working with. Um, and why it does that is multiple distributors carry a lot of the same brands and names. So what the system will do is ask you to pick a primary distributor like it's doing here. It's telling me, okay, I need to pick a primary. And what that'll do is um, when I scan that product, it'll actually default to that primary distributor which will then um, you know, allow me to order that product. Um, if I want to, I can actually um, click this little drop down box right here and it'll actually show me the other distributors that are carrying this same product. So if I wanted to see what Tree of Life had that product on, I would just then click Tree of Life and it'll be able to show me what Tree of Life's pricing is. 
Now with the Scan Genius, we don't do a side-by-side -side pricing, and the reason we don't do that is because we don't want the vendors to get upset with us or not give us the data that we need. So we do it in a way that you're still able to see the information, it's just not going to flag, hey, this guy's got it on the cheapest. Okay? So that's the biggest thing. Now, um, basically this is what you're going to see when you're ordering with Scan Genius. So number one, when you scan an item, you're going to see that, oh, this is from United. And it's actually giving me the United Warehouse because United has a lot of different catalogs. So this is telling me um, I've ordered the Unify Sarasota catalog. This is the product name. This is the order quantity, so I ordered 14 of these products. I can also put what I have on my shelf in here as well. This is what the front means. Front means um, what I'm looking at on the shelf. So I have two on the shelf and back. If you guys have a back stock room, you can actually add in what you have in the back on there as well. So that makes it nice. So this is where you can kind of, what this will allow you to do is when I scan this product next week, I'm able to see that I ordered 14 and I had three in inventory. So if I go back next week and there's only one left, that either means I sold two or two walked out on their own, whichever it might be. So this is going to give me a way to see if I don't have a point of sale or you know how well that product is moving to be able to see that information right, right there while I'm doing the order. So it makes it really nice. Um, the minimum order for this product from UNFI is one, so you at least have to order one. Here's my previous inventory um, and my order from last week. So last week I ordered eight and I had um, in inventory six. And this week I only had, I had two, I had three left from that. So it gives me an idea of how my product is moving. So that makes it really nice. And on the scanner it'll actually show me six of my previous orders in inventory when I hit my details button here. So I'll be able to see all that information. I'll show you that a little bit more. Um, this is actually number seven is telling me um, whether this comes in a case or by each. It looks like this comes in a case of 12, but I think it also can be ordered by each as well. Um, tag, basically what tag is, is if you're going around the store and you're scanning your, your information and you see that a tag is missing or maybe somebody wrote on it or maybe you know somebody ate it or I don't know, whatever happened to it, what you'll be able to do is just touch on that tag button and what the system will do is remember that you need that tag. So when you go back, once you're done your order and you go back and you offload, you'll have your tags on there as well. So you can offload those at the same time. So it makes it really nice and easy. Now your details screen will show you the details of the vendor and also your order history, which I'll show you in a moment. Your UPC codes, this means you can, if you don't have, maybe you don't have a barcode, but you know the UPC code, you can actually tap this button and manually enter in the UPC code for the product. You'll also have a cost. This is what that product unit costs. And you'll have a running total with UNFI. You'll have a running total with each vendor. So, so far I've spent $4,043.56 with UNFI. Okay, so that's what all of these different buttons mean. Now, let's delve into them a little bit more. So, as you can see, this item here is on sale. If I double tap on this sale button, it's going to show me what this sale is. So right now, this sale is start date is 1-30-2010 uh, and the end date is 2-26-2010. Um, and it's a special, you get 15% off a case. So if I was going to order half a case and pay more, but I can order a full case and get a discount, that makes more sense to me. Maybe I really sell this product really well. So with this, not only does it show sale, but when you scan that item and the item is on sale, the system will actually beep at you. It will alert you to a sale, so that way you look down at the unit. So when you look down at the unit, you're able to tap on this, and this screen here will pop up to show you what the sale is. So that makes it really nice. Number um, three is where if multiple vendors carry this product, what will happen is, is you'll get this little drop down box. It will default to your primary vendor, whoever you want that to be, whether it be United, Tree of Life, Threshold, Nature's Best, whoever. Uh, what will happen is, is it will default to that primary vendor that you chose, but when you touch on this um, each, it will actually bring up a list of the different vendors that carry that, um, that same product. 
So let's say I don't want to order it from United. I want to order it from Tree of Life. All I need to do is tap on Tree of Life and it'll change up here to say Tree of Life. So now I'm ordering it from Tree of Life and it'll show me Tree of Life's pricing and what my running total is with Tree of Life. So it makes it really nice. And that way, maybe you don't want to order it from Tree. Maybe you notice that, oh, well, I, I, I like to buy a case of this versus an each. So you can switch it back to UNFI just by touching UNFI. So it makes it really easy to switch between them. Um, and then if I want to see detailed um, information, if I click detailed, it will show me the vendor, the brand, the retail, the cost.